Meghan Markle and Donald Trump couldn't be two more different people, right? One's a woman and one's a man. One trumpets the benefits of a healthy lifestyle of good food and exercise, and the other trumpets a love of fast food. One professes to be a lefty, and the other is a fascist. Very different on all sorts of levels. But wait. I came across a brief quiz in Psychology Today, which I'll link below, that helps to determine if you're in a relationship with a victim. That is, someone who is suffering a victim mentality, an unfortunate who demands to be rescued, and whose very presence can drain you of the will to go on. Let's take the quiz. Question number one. Is there anyone in your life who often appears inconsolably oppressed or depressed? Yes! Meghan Markle and Donald Trump. Donald Trump is oppressed by Democrats, liberals, progressives, the United States Justice Department, and various district attorneys across this great land. Meghan Markle is oppressed by the media, the royal family, her birth family, and various people who are onto her antics and who she lumps into a general group of haters. Question number two. Are you burned out by their neediness? Yes. One more puff piece about how Meghan Markle is the most fashionable humanitarian to ever walk the earth. One more all caps post from the billionaire criminal Trump about how unfair life is to him. These two could try the patience and sink the spirit of an archangel. Question number three. Do these people blame bad luck or the unfairness of others for their problems? Yes. They blame King Charles, Elvin Bragg, Prince William, Fonny Willis, the Princess of Wales, Tish James, Queen Camilla, Jack Smith, Samantha Markle, and any and all members of the J6 committee. Come to think of it, wouldn't you like to attend a cocktail party with that guest list? Question number four. Do you screen your calls or say you're busy in order to dodge their litany of complaints? Yes. Or, anyway, if either Megan or Donald had my phone number, I would absolutely screen them out. Question number five. Does their unrelenting negativity compromise your positive attitude? Well, yes, if I let it, I suppose if I took their negativity seriously, it would do just that. But here's the thing. I don't take it seriously. Megan and Donald don't actually view themselves as victims, but rather use victimhood as a strategy. The Poor Me Act is just that, an act designed to elicit our sympathy, get us on their side, rev us up to rescue them. Victimhood has no politics, but honestly, we're used to the grievances of the right, from the petulant and petty, like the revamp of the green M&M that has left them with no candy boner, to the dangerous and devastating, like the American people voting Trump out of office, so now the Trumpies have to destroy America. But the petty nonsense coming out of Montecito from a professed progressive? We liberals have bigger and better things to focus on. Climate change, a woman's right to health care, gun control, economic equality, saving the American experiment from the fascists roaming among us. We don't have time or patience for the made-up moaning and groaning of a wannabe princess and the prince she clings to because she thinks a title enhances her relevance. And I pray we never will. Here at the Authentic, Trump's Victim Act and Meghan's both very quickly wore thinner than their skins. Are you still falling for it from either of them? 